Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 9. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we're going to take part in the MR2 Cup. Let me take a Toyota. I think it's a Toyota. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, wow. Uh, Maple Valley, Suzuka, and then Sukuba. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Woohoo! What an engine noise. And we are off as well. This thing's got some uh, grip besides. Yeah, this thing's pretty sick. Quite like the MR2, actually. Well, no, just because something hurts doesn't mean you're weak. So, technically speaking, you're strong. So, debunked. Oh, bonk. Hit the wall there a little bit. Got a little bit of damage to the front right brake there. It's not, not noticeable, though. Moving up and down, side to side, like a roller coaster. There we go. Because water's not clear. Technically speaking, water has a slight colour to it. So if you if you think, you look at a, a bottle of Coke, right? It's a really dark in colour. But if you start pouring it out, it looks much lighter as it's coming out of the neck of the bottle. Because the fact that there's less to it. It's the same thing with water, but it requires a shit ton of water to get that color. So yeah, water's not technically clear. So that is just a completely incorrect statement. Oh shit. Ah, me suspension's gone. Woohoo! There's actually a subreddit. That's not a shower thought. That's just a dumbass thought. <laughs> no, but um, there's um, there's a subreddit. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like um, teach me if I'm fat, as if I'm five or something like that. Basically, it's a subreddit for asking like sciencey questions, and someone will explain it in as basic a way as possible. As if you're five. It's pretty much like those kind of questions are what those would get asked in that subreddit, and someone would just absolutely debunk the fuck out of it. But yeah, it's a pretty good subreddit, actually. I'm calling me a kid. When did I say that? I never said that. <laughs> You baboon. Now, I did call you a baboon, though, so. Baboon. I recognize this song. Mm 
Let's forget the rain. Oh, it's this song, yeah. I love this. Good bit of graphics. Because churches aren't innocent. <laughs> there we go, not bad. 7,400 credits. All right, here we go, Suzuka Circuit. And we're off. Woohoo! So let's forget the rain. Everything can be a murder weapon if used right. I mean, you're not wrong. But then, yeah, fair enough. Except a pool noodle. Let's be honest. If you can manage to kill someone with a pool noodle, you deserve an award and you deserve to be let free. I mean... <laughs> That would be some crazy, crazy thing to manage. I was in control, I was losing touch. It's to sell my soul and it won't sell for much. <laughs> Prosperity for you. <laughs> you go like there's a really bad corner there other cars are right behind us Ended up like this. Come on. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Catch up. Excuse me, what have I just read? Okay. Well, uh, that's now a fact that I am going to take to my grave. Unbelievable. I believe in if I could the time to try. No, served with virtue. Yes, I got a lot to go through. But I never really tried. Whoa! Sometimes this car actually digs in the front tires way too much, and it corners way too aggressively. What, so if they accidentally drop him and then stamp on him? Yeah, I, 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 see, I see your point, yeah. <laughs> now, my, 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 my. Oh, I just want to be done with this car. I don't like it. I really don't. Ugh. It's okay, but it's... Ugh. It's not really like in this track, let's put it that way.
blood dries in my veins and my heart feels no more pain and I'll be on my way to heaven's door yeah that's quite quite a ridiculous fact to be honest 13 and a half times it's crazy madness I'm going to save that replay. I probably already have saved a replay and I've just forgotten, but oh well. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is it. We're round Sakuba. Circuit. I forgot this is seven laps. See, the good thing is, at least the races aren't as ridiculously long like in uh, Motorsport 1. How did the barber win the race? He knew a shortcut. Oh, unbelievable. We starting with the dad jokes again, Aaron. We've avoided them the past few episodes. <laughs> Fucking streams. Bad. Little lift here. Get around that corner. Not bad. Go, not bad. Four laps left to go. Woohoo! Is it while she sleeps? No. I forgot to put while she sleeps on. I said I was going to do it, and I forgot. Bugger. Okay, remember to put while she sleeps on the music player thing. Tidal. <laughs> Tidal, please sponsor me. I'm amazing. <laughs> Bollocks. I'm not amazing. I'll take it back. Who said she was amazing? That person must be in a mental hospital. <laughs> Unbelievable. You're an absolute fucking roasted here, mate.
Right, final lap. I do wish that um, Forza actually had something that went like final lap when you were on your final lap. Genuinely bricked it then. <laughs> I can't believe I just yeeted my mic though. That's fucking brilliant. And there we go. We've been awarding the 1995 Toyota Viz Racing. And we got some money as well. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Alright, so we're here for the final event of this live stream. Uh, it's going to be the Quattro Verin. Quattro Club. Uh, oh, and we got Miguelo! I'm actually really excited. This is my second favorite track um, ever. So we're going to start off with Miguelo, move on to Sebring, and then Silverstone. Let's get going. All right, so we're here um, in the Audi RS6 round Miguelo. Uh, we're going to be taking, well, the RS6. This one isn't a tuned up version like that, though. So it's going to be interesting to see how this performs compared to that, even though this has more performance points. That one up ahead. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be a close one, actually. But luckily, it's round one away. One of my favorite tracks. I love this track so much. It is a beauty. And the fact that it's in like games like Project Cars, which means I can actually experience driving in VR around this thing. Ah, it's beautiful. There is someone out there for everyone. For you, it's a therapist. <laughs> oh. Fair enough, that's actually pretty funny. There we go, going up the inside. Not bad. So this is starting to show, like, obviously there's an imbalance with vehicles in this this one, clearly, because we've got a Quattro right behind us. But pretty much by the end of the next lap, we're probably going to start lapping the back markers. I mean, you look, there are back markers pretty much halfway into their lap. But at least for this, you can actually upgrade your car. You're not restricted to pretty much using a shit car. There is no um, stock. Must be stock 
events? I don't think anyways. We haven't found one yet. Now that I've said that, we'll find one in a bit. And it'll be absolute, an absolute ball lake to complete. But we'll see. Okay, yeah, we really are storming ahead now. We got this. If the final championship in this game isn't around Magello, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. I'm just going to say that now. Because if my final drive around Magello, if I don't know it's going to be my final drive, I'll cry. Unbelievable. But remember, you insulted my IQ, which means I wouldn't be smart enough to understand what that roast means. So... <laughs> that one backfired on you, Aaron. Big time. Clearly, my IQ's higher than yours. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 7,300. Not too bad. Alright, here we go. Uh, race number two. This is Sebring. Good start. You're so happy for the negativity of your COVID test, we didn't want to spoil the happiness by telling you it was an IQ test. What the hell? That doesn't even make sense. COVID-19 test goes in the back of your throat and up your nose and all that shit. You don't do an IQ test that way, you pleb. <laughs> Oranges. Oranges. Egg. This thing's taking these corners pretty well. Don't even remember... Oh yeah, we crashed into the uh, Audi at the very start of the first lap, didn't we? Yep, boiled egg. So every time I go around Sebring, I always mess that up. Every single time without fail. Very much honoured, Aaron. Cheers for that. Come on, we can get this. <laughs> Lance Stroll. My name is Lance Stroll. I'm a Canadian, and I don't know how to drive. Lance Stroll is Canadian, isn't he? I think he is. <laughs> Latifi. Latifi, get in the bin. Do I genuinely think this is Latifi's last year. And to be perfectly honest, I don't understand how Latifi's been in Formula 1 for so fucking long. But yeah, 2022 is officially Latifi's final year. There's, there's no way in hell. <laughs> there's no way in hell. The Latifi stay next year. <laughs> yeah. He literally... 
Do you know, the funny thing is, right, when I watch NASCAR, so I've seen when NASCAR drivers get into a crash or like a small scrape, I've seen the NASCAR drivers pit crews jump over the barriers and they're smashing the panels, beating the panels, using duct tape and all that stuff. And I thought that was mad. But NASCAR, obviously, aerodynamics aren't as important in that. They're just like, ooh, power. So it makes sense why they do it. But Formula One, on the other hand, to straight up just gaffer tape? The DRS flap? That threw me off a little bit. I'll admit. It's not like it was anything new that I haven't seen a pit crew do something like that. But for Formula One, where aerodynamics is so sensitive... Kind of surprised me that they did that. Get back. Bloody hell, this thing is loud. And rip the handbrake. Woo! We got an out of control Audi. Lovely. Well, we got seven and a half grand for that. All right, here we go. We got five people in chat at the moment, which is awesome. Welcome, everybody. Look at the Silverstone track. I actually didn't notice, but there's like camera crews everywhere. No, I, 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 it doesn't bother me. I'm not easily offended. As long as you're not personally attacking... Attacking me, I don't really give a shit. I forgot to shift. Shit. Whoop! Up the inside. Watch out for the traffic codes. I mean, let's be honest, Aaron. You've stolen the rest of them already anyways. <laughs> I'm glad you said you're dead. Fair shout. Fair shout. Whoa! There we go. <laughs> Is that a fat joke? <laughs> Who are you calling, big man? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I love this ship. This is brilliant. Ba -na -na -na. Oh yeah, this is our last race of the stream. And then we got to uh, get our thumbnails. Ah, lovely. You mean older man? Wow. See, the thing is, Aaron, though, these roasts that you're coming up with all have the exact same formula. They're saying something about go away, stay there kind of vibe. They're all the same formula, so they're not funny anymore. Like, after the third one that you did, it got boring. <laughs> I'm going to be totally honest. 
Obviously claps. <laughs> Great day if you use a glue stick instead of chapstick. You know gl a glue stick isn't very sticky, right? Even after it, you've like used it and it's dried up and all that, it, it doesn't stick. You can still peel the paper off quite easily off of like when you use a glue stick. So, eh, kind of a shit roast. <laughs> it won't do the job. Oh, there we go. Rem, 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 rem. Right on the red rev limiter. How is the VW camper van? We ain't done anything with it at all yet. Still waiting to, um, uh, what's it called? Sort out, um, driving lessons and shit. So. Once I've got that all sorted, I'll, uh, probably get some shit done to the camper. It's in running condition anyway, so it's not like I have to do much. It's just there's some things I would like to do to it. Like painting the bumpers. Getting the dents out of it. That kind of shit. Seven and a half grand. Level 18. Well, we got a relationship with Superwood. Right, so we got a 2000 Audi AWE tune-in Silver Bullet S4. Which is the car that we were just driving against. Yeah. So why on earth do we go against the car that we're gonna unlock? Because that seems a little bit stupid design. I'm not gonna lie. But we got nine grand out of that. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.